to shift a little left. That's the anchor itself is. Oh, it's sitting on the pairing. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, where they yeah, want it. Yeah. So okay, as anchor. soon as we take a weight off of it, obviously, it's hopefully going to float up. Yeah, perfect. So, doo -doo -doo. so but <coughs> the, there's two heavy things on it, obviously. We need yeah. to take off the parking position and the, and the weights. The problem is it's just barely positively buoyant right now. So it's if you right. touch it, it, it's, it moves all over the place. Yeah, so getting the first... Well, even when they're totally positively buoyant, they they spin. spin. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, so but maybe let's take a, that weight off first and see if we can at least use that as a spinning resistance. Yeah, that's resistance. A, good, a good heading for it there because yeah. we want to, you yeah. know, obviously we want to put the bucket. Yeah, yeah it's going to go right. over that down in that way. All right. Um, so when we might move the ship a little, it will depend on how... Uh, Jake has to fight it to come around the, the other side there. I forget. I don't know if Megan remembers where we were last night. I think we were maybe, you know, 10 meters east, northeast or something, kind of in between Dante and Grotto, but to the south. Okay. But uh, we'll, we'll try and walk around and see how it goes. This is probably a good position here because we're going to be working both sides of it. Yeah. Okay. You reckon? Yeah, I think so. So if you want to fly around counterclockwise there to the other side, the weights are just on the other side of the parking position there. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. So I think that's probably step one yeah. is to release those, see how it helps with our buoyancy. We can always move those individually right. on the shelf if we need to. So the question I have for you is where are you going to want the weights? And Remember the camera, too. I forgot. Yeah, I think we're going to want them towards the camera, but obviously not in the line of sight of the camera. So, um, you know, I think we want them on the shelf, probably by the green grating that's there, um, yeah. towards the edge so of the shelf. We can probably release them here and, um, yeah, come down snug, yeah. snug against the structure, Yeah. how we have come in before, so we don't disrupt the camera. Yeah. Yeah, I think that makes sense. So I don't know. I guess trying to pull these free is going to be a problem because it's just going to no, come towards so, you. No, so what we'll have to do is we'll have to come in and grab it with one hand and then uh, get the weights out with the other. And then the rope is rigged in such a fashion. So when we lift up the weights, it'll pull out of that tie wrap. Yeah. But we can also bust the tire up, but then we have the whole rope to deal with, which could get yeah. fouled in the instrument, and that makes it ugly. So I would like to grab it, take the weight off, and then pull some of the rope out with our manipulator and then let go of it and see if that makes it somewhat stable. And then we'll pull back. By then, there should be enough loose. So that rope's just held in by a wounded tie wrap. Yeah. But it's meant to, like, you start pulling it out and it, it all doesn't come out, whether yeah. it happens that way or not. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. <coughs> yeah, that sounds good to me. Roger. All right, so first step, uh, grab the platform. We approved. Pull. Yeah, but we'll we're going to want to so come all the way around to your right. And there's the parking position handle or yeah. any of those kind of steel parts would be obviously yeah. um, sanctioned to grab onto. So what we want to do is figure out, you can back away and come down and figure out what your heading is going to be for sneaking in there without uh, getting in trouble with the camera. So remember how we snuck up to the vent before? Yep. I think it's going to, you know, basically be west, looking west. So you got to, you want to come around to the right side of it, Jake. Because we want its heading, we, it would be nice if its heading stayed the same as it is now. Because we got to take the the white hat thingy off the backside and put it. I mean, its heading's going to be really variable until that weight gets positioned, and we can always right. go and adjust that as we want. So I think it's going to turn when you work on it, but then yeah, we, it'll, we'll turning, be able to turn it back. Turn, that rope now. looks pretty long. Yeah. yeah. So. So do you? You want to come around and figure out what your non-camera... Yeah, I was 
totally wrong there. I get turned around here. I was envisioning something like that for the weight. Oh, yeah. If it's hanging, then we lose buoyancy in the RAS. So we kind of want to find that. We want it to be okay. effectively preventing saying. spinning yeah. without yeah, yeah. actually we're actively working against the buoys. If we can't achieve that because the rope is too long, we might have to, to knock it off the cliff. But I think we try putting it here, and, okay. we, s and we see if it's doing its job. Well, that works for us, and we don't have to worry about being between the camera and the structure. Okay, I get it. Okay. And I haven't figured out where I want to grab on yet. Probably at the top of the grate where the eye bolt is, maybe. Thinking. Let me see how it looks when we get a little closer. No, don't get too close yet. Not ready. <laughs> <laughs> um. the elbow out a little bit if it works it does okay. I think if you grab the you see the eye bolt on the top there yeah right above the grate if you grab that it will oh, I'm so glad they left the blue cap on that <laughs> it will uh, like <coughs> Keep it from spinning. If we grab the rod, it'll spin. I'm making it spin right now. Yeah, you are. I can always oh. grab it with the seven and put it in the magnum if you can't. Yep. Then wait for it to stop spinning. <coughs> yeah, once you touch it, it'll spin for a while. Anything floating will do that. Is that an easier angle or no? Well, easier to fly it straight in, but what? I think it's, good. it's hard to lateral in. Got Come it. On. Nope. That'll work. Why is it not locking? Because I'm hitting the button too many times. <laughs> okay. And you're going to float up with it a little bit, but yeah. you should float up past the weight, hopefully. That's the other fun thing. We can drag the whole thing off. up a little we can always like I just don't want to hit the camera you know <coughs> no it should float up and stop on its weight so I couldn't okay I had to thrust up to fly it pretty okay. significantly so we should be anchored there on it okay I should be being the keyword Click your heading lock in there. So rigged it so I know what's going on here. Nice. Well, kind of, sort of.
rodeo began. Wrangle that thing. Count like six zip ties. Uh, yeah, it's my rigging, so. I only had a couple of zip ties. I forgot it would be floating. How does it need you using me? I jammed it in there. break that tire up yet, but maybe I missed a tire up. Oh. Well, that's a hazard. Okay, yeah, so now you're going to want to let go and fly back. Yep. Stretch the rope out. Good thing Hook didn't have any thrusters in the front. Uh, I you like to drop. To let go. No, yep, fly back. Stretch the rope out. Nice and easy. It's in front of us. We're good. <laughs> so, yeah, you're controlling the rope by the <coughs> distance from it. That rope looks really long. Yeah, floaty. Yeah, I think we'll probably wind up putting it down off the cliff there. I'm going to look up a bit through your camera just yep. so I can see it. Yeah, we want to start with it on the cliff. Uh, <coughs> you don't get a choice. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it might be too long. What What the problem, AJ, is if we put it on the cliff thrusters. and it's all loose, we'll wind up with it in our thruster. Can we... Can we... We, sort we, of can't, we have it? to manage the rope here. We can't let it, you know... Go loose where we can't see it. I understand. Keeping it in sight, can we see whether putting it on the cliff is feasible before just dropping well, it off the cliff? Yeah, we're, we're trying to work on that now. Okay. That's a pretty long rope. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, let's come down a little more. I'm losing visibility of it there, so we're back up, maybe. Backing up. Okay, I, I can see it. That's good. Oh. Yeah, I'll keep coming down. I can tell you it ain't going to sit on that cliff. It would float up and get all fouled up in the instrument. Okay, then we're then we should just cut it from the RAS. You don't want to just hang it down here? No, it'll sink it. It'll sink it? I think it'll pull down too much on the RAS. We can try. Uh, we can try and find a place to set it down here. But isn't it supposed to be tight and not the whole idea? Well, it needs to get tight once it starts spinning. Oh, I see. But between the parking position and the hat, I'm not sure it's necessary. Roger. How and about that cliff right there in front of us, Jake? Is that so I'll tell you when I get nervous when the rope is in our face too much. 
but just to the left where the white oh to the left powder is and I'm gonna come up just a little if it starts coming towards us and back up Happy with that, AJ? What's the question? You're going to try to place it on the cliff? Yeah, right here. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it'll stay. Well, here. I don't understand where it's going to go. Right in front of us. This is a little like flatter, but. Here or here? Yeah, anywhere in there. I mean, you can try here. I think right in front of the manipulator is a good one. Down here? In front of the magnum. No, in front of the craft. Fly forward. That doesn't. That I don't know if that's flat enough. Well, fly up there. There's nothing flat. That might be tight there. Yeah, it is tight. Okay. It sounds like this. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Let's leave it for now, and we'll see how the buoyancy is when we You want to let it the, hang, hang yeah. for a minute? Yeah, if you guys okay. are okay with okay. it hanging, then. Fly it yeah, back yeah. down? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to let it go. Pendulum. It's going to lower, because now the RAS is sinking back down to the pairing. Maybe, but we got to take a bunch <laughs> more weight off it, right? It seems like it's still well, it, down. Well, it was yeah, it was just on it and it was floating. So that pairing's going to be dropping right down. See? Well, it was dropping down before, so yeah, it's definitely yeah. going to drop down again. But, but it's going to go back up when we take more jewelry off, right? Hopefully. Yeah, it definitely will. Well, not definitely, but I think there's a trade-off here between the RAS PPS being stiff which is one thing we want, and not rotating, which is another thing we want. <laughs> yeah, roger that. And I think the parking position will hopefully manage the rotation for us, and the Come extra down, weight is not helping. So once we get all that stuff off there, then I'm happy to bring it back up. It's in a good spot right now to, you know, not be in our face. You could see where it would be an issue trying to get in I, here. Absolutely, yep. Roger, okay. Um, I think our next bet will be to take this off and put it on the cliff. I reckon. Same grab? Same grab. And I apologize in advance for that blue dust cap. Oh, that's all right. We can, we've dealt with those before. Yeah, that if we get tangled up in that freaking specter, it's game over. And bring the whole mess up to the deck. Oh, just missed it. A little too much. We have to put an ROV handle on this thing. Oh, two finger grab. Sorry, I keep nope. double tapping the button. Got it. Okay, looking down. Uh, I'm gonna swing it right a little because the next <coughs> metal I gotta get off is. Really, where I can't see it, there it is. So I think uh, release the uh, bungee and then bust the cable loose. Makes sense. And then grab the parking position. Happy with that, AJ? Where's the bungee? It's it's uh, here. I'll show you. All right, you can, so now you see it, now you don't. 
I played with it on deck, so. Okay. I have some photos here. And I, I crawled all over this thing. I'll just, uh, here, let me do something. Okay, so I, we I got it here. The black bungee, there's a, yeah, yeah on the bolt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I agree. That first. I'll bring it into view here. The parking, the whole parking position assembly will still be constrained by that grating. And Correct. probably a zip tie somewhere, I imagine. Uh, I didn't see any zip ties. Oh, I'm too tight here. Elbow up, maybe? I might be able to get it. I did not rig the green cable. I don't think it poked the washer. Yeah, I'm not sure how that cable is going to pull out. It's just going to pull tight. Yeah, I'm going to bust the tire up. So it'll I break eventually. Uh, they're wounded. Okay. I should just be able to puzzle them off. If, what if you wrist under the whole thing? Yeah, oh. that'll work. <coughs> uh, maybe. Maybe. You know what? I'll just uh, try and wonk it from the other side. They will break as we deploy it, in theory. one it might it might sort of get tight around it like it'll pull the cable it should and there one did it should break when I pull the parking okay. position out but if I I'll break it now it might be a mess there we go Nice Tina four. Yeah, that's cool. Predator. <laughs> Pre 
right here in the sea. And those on the wrong side. Are you going after the Tina 4 or are you no, going I'm after just the shooting it out of the way? <laughs> <laughs> Shoe fly. Shoe fly. I'll consider it. Thanks for not hurting the Tina 4. I was just shooting it back up so you can see it in the camera. <laughs> Ground a little for me. Right, happy with that? Yeah. Happy, AJ? Yeah. Okay, we're going to let go and fly down and place this on the grate below the RAS. And there's a cable there that you've probably seen before that's barely hanging there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, letting go. Come on, float, RAS, float. back coil but you know they're cold now uh, uh, no come up it's too cold it has to be kind of pulled through yeah it does like um, that just has to go around the outside yeah if you come up maybe it'll Be more better. I want to stretch the cable out. If you stay even with it and back up, it might come out. some <coughs> plate gymnastics. What do you reckon? Well, I think so. What do you reckon, AJ? Plate gymnastics? Do you, do you think, what do you mean plate gymnastics? Oh, I could try and uncoil, go un twist around with the manipulator, the risk of, you know, dropping it. If you let go of it with the manipulator now, you think it'll stay on the porch? No, not a chance of that. Uh, da, 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 da. So what do we need? We need this. We need this little wrap to come out and around the outside. Yeah. I think like where so, this yeah. where this um, splice is. Yeah, I think we got to play with it. Okay. Yeah. Go yeah. for it. What if you gave it to Magnum? Well, and then you can just use the arm to kind of push it away. Yeah. Maybe. 
that's also an option. Yeah, I do like that idea. I think you just rolled over that way once. Yeah, let me try and twist it around, see if it gets better or worse. It's just the splice is caught, I think. And pull see back a little, little bit there, Jake. Pull this back. knob on the splice is what's messing us up. Uh, Extreme green you, gets I cool. usually always cut those ears off of the bullets. I thought about it when I was looking at it. But. I don't think it's on the ear, but yeah, I hear you. That's looking better. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. There you go. That's what we needed. Hold on. Hold on. Holding. I'm gonna pull it out of my jaw. Okay. Beauty. At least the RAS is floating again. Yeah. Hey. So I'm thinking. Couldn't design a weight that yo yoed off the cliff, or maybe that's the whole purpose. <laughs> it's supposed to yo yo. <laughs> um, somewhere close to where the blue is, but not, the not blue. right uh, up hold, against hold, it. Hold on, what, what you got there for a second? Hold it. I'll just get this beastie out of the way here. Shoulder way down. Let me get it up. Parked. <coughs> we do have our cliffhanger right in front of that spot. Yeah, I'm. I'm thinking. Yeah, just to the right of it. Just to the right. Okay. We don't want this drifting into the camera, but I think this is a sufficient distance, and the hat will point the other way. We might end up shifting these weights uh, somewhere over there to get the angle right. But let's start with the parking position here. Dan, it's because this parking position doesn't really have anything to hold it down. If you give it to the Magnum, could you just plug it in and touch you? <laughs> yeah, and we'll hold it, it with the Magnum when we plug it in. Okay, where are we talking about putting this thing? Yeah, right in front of you. Oh, you don't want to put it up on the grate? Um, no, I don't think so. Right. Okay. Unless you have a preference for that. Oh, uh, so. Just for balancing it, you think? If you hold on for a second, Jake. Or gives uh, let's talk about this sit. for a minute. You might back up just a little bit. Um, so when we plug it in, I'm going to have to hold it with the Magnum, obviously, right? And um, then I'll need to grab that precariously hung cable and fletcher it and then plug it in so if it's up there on the plate to the left of this uh yo-yo wire are you talking about over here yeah okay do let's do what what's easiest for you to plug it in because we can always once it's plugged in we can always move right. it easier Great. okay so we can get close enough to the wire here i think where i can uh so if you come perch right we're gonna have to stick it through here yeah yeah you can come in there and perch somewhere maybe you're left a little there's the camera just yeah somewhere in there would be great i don't know if we're pulling the thing down just a tad i'll come up a bit are you good yeah, I'm good. This, if we have it sitting right here, we can grab yeah. on with the Magnum. Yeah, it gives you options. Yeah, unplug the whole nine. Yeah, once it's plugged theory. in, then we can use it as our rotation resistance and move it where we need to. If it stays. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. The hat doesn't weigh very much, I don't think. So I think we have to cut that Amsteel line. 
this one. We're just too. Well, we want it down because if it goes up, it's going to pull the parking position up. But. Okay. Sorry. Let's, uh, if what goes up? If the RAS goes up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're it's right. actually it's yeah. right where we want it now, right? It's, yeah. It's float. It's, you know, well, what it's we not sinking. and. What we want is the RAS to be tighter and, and the cable to the parking position to be longer. But, yeah, I agree uh, that this is an okay compromise. Yeah. So do you want to plug it in now or do the hat thing now? Uh, plug it in. We need oh, the yeah, temperature reading for the hat. Roger. Okay. Got to get close enough to grab it with the uh, Magnum, right? Yeah, I think you want to be left, left more. You can try left as more. I, I can always scoot it around on the porch. And yeah, uh, left till you hit. I guess. Hitting. Okay. Can you come down a little bit there? Yeah, I'm gonna try. Perch there. Might be a little high to... Yeah, it's high. If I have to come right a little bit to go down more. Okay. I'll deal with the... Yeah. It's probably about as close as you can get. You're starting to oh. touch it. Oh. I don't work. She stops moving. <laughs> <laughs> that was home, was it? Yep. You have to tilt the camera down because I'm holding. Yep. No, I can do all that. I'm going to get the magnum out, but I'll tilt down a little. I'm going to regret putting that blue line there. I already do. Good, how are you? the knife. Open it up. Hmm. Yeah, I can uh, come down a little and pin us. Yeah. Stable, my boat.
Look at that target. Okay. Yep. I don't know if it's most stable, is it? Maybe? No, it's not. That could happen. Not very stable. Well. <laughs> Do they float? No, they should sink. Can you put it in the toolbox? Oh yeah, they sink <laughs> all right. <laughs> I just swore I've seen it sink. <laughs> Great, I'm so glad it was all there. <laughs> you were never going to hear the end of that one, dude. <laughs> I'm not the one that left it on there. <laughs> you think it's there for the door? <laughs> Yeah, I have to wait till I stop laughing. It's there until we start flying backwards. I don't think you should poke at the Zeus. Um, no, I'll just fly backwards or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to ignore it after. That was good for a laugh. <laughs> That's great. See how long it stays there. The entire dive. That would be awesome. I didn't think that would float. Video, can you zoom past the dust cap? <laughs> <laughs> Put this stupid rope here. A stupid place for a rope. <laughs> Should have put that on the other side. I don't think that rope's going anywhere. No, I just had to move it out of the way of the Fletcher. Yeah. If you rack in and out really quickly, I wonder if it'll shake it loose. I don't know, it'll, it'll There's no such thing as racking in and out quickly. It looks like it might be wedged under Probably something. Probably for, you know, good reason. Maybe it'll come back with the vehicle, you know? We'd like to retain one if we can. Sorry, I'm not too stable here. Not too stable? No. Tight. Get out of my way. Can you? Uh, oh, wait. I got it. You got your hands full. Well, I can I can use an arm if you need to. No, I just... I can push buttons. You're just dying to push buttons. Huh? Oh.
Misha, Misha, get this off of me, Misha. Who put that weight there? It's <laughs> 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 just bouncing around. <laughs> dust cap? The dust cap we thought would sink. We tried to put it in the toolbox and it floated in the up Zeus and got in the Zeus cowl. <laughs> We're finding it <laughs> stupidly amusing. Uh. I wonder how many times it'll turn over. Allison was not impressed with our dust cap. No. She did smile. Have we ever thought about putting a break proof mirror in the toolbox so we could see ourselves? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, that is a thought, though. Okay, I'm going to unplug this thing and attempt. Really? Ah, uh, wrong function. I want to push out so you can get them. Yeah. I'm afraid that what that will do to Jake. <laughs> I have to use the uh, other shifts technique of not using them. <laughs> really? Not using the Fletcher? Yeah. Come on. There she goes. I just want to get the right function on it. See if I can hold steady while you attempt this. like the worst place for the handle. It's whoever designed them and continues to design them has obviously never tried to plug one in. <laughs> Nico? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I gave it, some, one way to do it. gave it some jam forward. <laughs> uh, can you zoom in there for us, Pete? Looks like they're closed. Are you happy with that, AJ? Um, can we get a little more zoom? Sure. It's just hard to see with the glare. Yeah, those are in. That's a good. Roger. That's a good connection. Okay, Pete, you can go wide. Can we have systems power on port J6 of JB12 uh, and confirm yeah. communication to the RAS PPS? Do on we lose? It. Do we lose a dust cap? Thanks. Yeah, it finally went bye bye. Can you zoom forward? Um, can we get the parking position out of the Fletcher and into the toolbox so we don't accidentally deploy it? Yeah. Thank you. I can get off of this thing without unplugging it. Happy Gilmore ruined that name. Misha. 
Misha, Misha, get this off of me. Okay, I'm gonna play around with this thing and let go so you can get in here. <laughs> Slides off the cliff. <clears throat> I want to cut this rotation weight, but I think the it float the line floats. So. What's that? Yeah. Can't cut that. No. Nope. <clears throat> oh, it'll be fine. If you cut it at the top, it should just fall down the cliff. I guess it, if it doesn't fall far enough, it'll create a hazard in the future. But we could always go get it and move it. We're getting anywhere near it. My jaw open. Okay, can you get out? Ooh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he wants to cut it. It's floating. thing again so I'm gonna leave it out there. Okay. You're all right with that? Yep. And J6 uh, on JB12 is powered on. Let's see where do we want to put this on Thank the starboard you. side I guess. Uh, yeah our toolbox is fine in front. I think the starboard side is full of beacons. Yeah. Uh, sure. the jaw 90 from that because it um, slides off the hockey pucks when you try and pull it out. Oh really? Yeah. Like right on the way out and then it's freaking What does this note say again? Ben will do stuff with these on Monday. He's going to come all the way down here tomorrow? I find it funny how a single swipe with some alcohol would have made that disappear. Uh, that greeting says, have a nice day. <laughs> That's good. Now all the animals know to have a nice day. <laughs> It'll keep them happy down there for you, Megan. Ben will do stuff with these on Monday. Yep. Okay. okay. Are you so ready to get the hat off? Yeah. Right. 
Is that tomorrow or today? I guess that's today, right? Which today today. 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 Yeah. Today. Now that this thing is up, do we want to move the anchor closer to the vent that the hat's going to end up on? Like the plate weight anchors. I think it's fine where it is. It's within reach. Tempting fate. Yeah. I don't know. What's, do the move it? What's the T-boss there for? Oh. Okay. Is this whole thing the hat? Yeah. yeah. This is the hat. So that's the handle. How long is the cable? It's pretty long. I think we want to go around the other side of it, though, Jake. Oh, really? Well, I don't know. So we're going to have to... If you go over to where we're going to land the, the thingy... Which is uh, to your left. Yeah. So if we can fly it there and try and go around to the right, we're going to be around the. Remember, you got those floats. Yep. Up above you. So our target is there. Yeah. So. And trying to get around the other way is going to be painful. So I can rotate it here. We can give it a whack. Or we can go grab it and rotate it around where we want it. Yeah, I think you're going to have to go around this side and <coughs> grab that top left. Not the bumper bar? <laughs> uh, yeah, grab bar? You could grab the grab bar, I guess, sure. <coughs> grab the grab bar. Missed it. Might bring it a little close, the magnum a little closer. It's way yeah. out there. Yep. Oh, let's see where it is. Yep. Let me get this heading in. Headings come right around now, hasn't it? Because you're now right over the camera, are you? And yeah, you're going to want to. This is the way I came around. No, you want to come to the left. Oh, no, nope. you want to come to the left. Definitely want to come to the left. Uh, yeah, yeah. For sure. Look at Atalanta. You'll wrap your tether around the buoys if you go that way. I came around this way, though. Yeah, but then the whole thing rotated around when we were grabbing it. Okay. Pretty sure. Must have. You know what? Let's let go and make sure if there's any question. I'm going to relax the jaw. Should be able to get off it now, hopefully. Nope. Now let me give you a little assist. <laughs> it will drag it off the cliff. Oh, you're up. There we go.
Just come right up and look at the buoys. I should, yeah. Temperature of the CTD. Sort ourselves out up above the buoys. Last 10 minutes. Yeah. I think I'm up here and take the turn out. Yep. Get a uh, resorted on our happy heading thing. so many times chasing them. There's our target there on the left, bubble cam. Yep. And we want to come around this way, right? That's what we did before. I thought that's what we did before, yeah. Yep. And that direction will allow you to work over to the vent. Well, once we get it, we'll walk back around with it. So I should be facing south. Carry it up. If that's too far, you can come back around and I'll grab it and rotate it. Okay. But are you yeah, alright? Should, yeah. Yeah, should be fine. We're way up above the back. facing south. south. Okay. Yeah. Lock in my auto heading here. Bounced right into it. That's because I had to come down a bit. Mm, sorry. Um, so do we want to take that half turn back out? And we got to turn again. How'd you do that? We uh, we started with a half turn, right, and then yeah. I went around. Come back around to a half turn so we can see the target. Yeah.
come forward just a little bit. stairs what we want to see all right let's uh, have a turnout and mm, so you're right over the cliff and the rope now you know where you are yep yep okay yep. there we go getting western with it <clears throat> Okay, so I'm gonna bring us down a little. We haven't. Con this is we haven't confirmed comms yet to the platform. They're trying, but the IPs aren't pinging, and they're not receiving comms any other way. Oh, what are you saying? You don't want to get the hat off yet? Okay, copy. Yeah, I understand. You want the weight to do the hat, AJ? Do I want the weight to do the hat? No, do you want us to wait before we do the hat? Are you ready no, to do No, go that? ahead. Yeah, go Roger. ahead. this first. Actually, I'm going to bring it up a little more. It's too far down. You want to lean into it a little while I do this? Just push forward a little bit. here and get this freaking thing off here first.
huge. That's great, a monkey fist is caught. I knew I should have cut that thing off. What's it caught on? Is it tie? Mm, it's out of the way there. Really? Oh, I think you're free. Oh, the monkey fist is holding your wires in place. So this right here. <laughs> um. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so that one is on the yeah, okay. Now we grab the big stick. Yeah.
Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. So same game, we'll pull it out. Make sure the cable's not wonky. Yep. And uh, we have to deal with this slow magnum. Okay, relaxing, opening. anything in. There we go. Me neither. Oh. Not really. Not especially, no. Oh, yeah. I just heard it. Someone sleeping. Oh. Same game, I think we gotta. Yeah, not special. Should do bigger loops, that's where we're. Big loops come out easy, little loops, not so much. Um, what if you fly up to it, loosen it, and then fly back? coming. Yeah. Yeah, see it bubble there. Now I should be able to just fly it back. Yeah, easy area nice to pull that instrument off. Nice and slow, nice and slow. I'm just gonna come down so I can see it again. Yeah, I can see it bubble. I think if you come around to your left we're alright, that'll or maybe come back up and come around to your left, that'll pull out. Then those aren't just wires, there's also hoses in there. Looks like that plastic, like we use on our comp lines. Yeah. So a kink will be fatal. Yeah, if we kink it, it's game over. There it came. Beauty. Okay. And just to confirm, we're all on the same page that this is our target deployment location? Yeah. Okay. Okay, target deployment location. If it doesn't reach, we may need to scooch the weights closer. Roger. Um, so it, it would be good to to uh, bring your head back to the right so we can see the cable and the instrument and then scooch over. I know it's hard with that thing in your face. I got bubble on it. Are we going on top of the flange pool? Is that yeah, the? Yeah. 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 Okay. Now can I ring? Heading around? Yeah, so, yeah, while you're there, bring your head to the right a little so we can see what it looks like. Yeah, I think we're okay. Rudder.
You could. Uh, Last time we stuck the porch out and I just sat make, underneath it. Yeah, just to make sure. Um, really? That's how you got on it? Yeah. I just, and then I took my hands off the stick and I was just up underneath it. Let's bring our head around to the right here and make sure we're not pulling on that thing too tight. With, and yeah, try and keep the flange pull and bubble here. I'll booble down. Looks like it might be pulling a bit. Yeah, if you pivot around there, we'll have a look, see what's happening. Yeah, can you slide to your left now over the flange pull? Okay, I think we're good. Yeah? Yeah. Um, you want to porch under, right? Oh, we are going to sit down right here. I mean... Yeah, we can sit down right here would be good. It's good to... Just gently, gently. Toe somewhere. You know, I'm going to be pinned real good. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh, I'm on it. Nope. Uh, yeah, you just you can lean in somewhere or whatever. I'm sure we're going to move it five times, so... Ah. It, it, that thing might be pulling on you a little. Uh, I think it is, because I can't seem to stay there. down on it. Yeah, that's fine. We'll let it settle out for a minute. Click in auto heading maybe won't help you. As long as one is not reversed. That's a or not. <laughs> I think one of them's reversed. Yeah. That's okay, that's a good heading though. We're looking at the instrument, so Do you have a sense for whether or not the hat will stay? At yeah, this we distance? think it will stay. Okay. You want to try and porch under? I can try that. Did it from this angle last time. Yeah, let me lift this thing up and, and the porch extendo. I can porch on top. That works. You won't be able to stick lock it, you'll have to hold it. I don't know what 
a headache right now. Oh. Just a toe. I would advise not to stick lock it. <laughs> that was just habit. Yeah, it's a bad habit. Around here. Was there like a particular place here or any old place on the... I think to the right of that white thing uh, was what Dirk had uh, <coughs> specified. Nav, do you mind grabbing a lat and long for this location? Sure thing. Thank you, Nev. No problem. Of course it's not flat. Wait, what do you mean key SPL? Definitely looked flatter earlier. <laughs> Always looks means. flat. Oh, okay. You want to turn off? Okay. Still good? Good. Uh, good ish. That just looks like it's going to topple over, but maybe not. Curiously close to the edge. Falling down here. I think it's cable is going to tug it off. Maybe not. I think we're going to want to move the anchor weight closer to the hat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, do, do. do we want to place the hat somewhere safer temporarily while we do that? Probably. Let's have a look. So it stayed there amazingly, but let's see what yeah, we got. That's, yeah, that's Obviously not a permanent solution. Yeah, right I know. Now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's just going to be a, uh, a good overall view of what we're working with. Deployment fail. <laughs> <laughs> we're not finished. It's not a fail. Um, well, yeah, it's a little tight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, we if we can go straight for the weight and bring it closer. I don't know if the hat will fall down if we do that. Oh, yeah. If we touch it, it won't fall down. So touch anything. I'm surprised it hasn't fallen yet. <laughs> Looks no, like the it's hat's, the hat's pretty heavy, in all fairness. but It's also mostly on. I, I, yeah. It's sitting there. It's perched. Yeah. Yeah, but it, I don't think it's like a happy Raz hat. Not that weight. Not that way. It looks like talking our about the weight oh. for the, oh. the main, the main weight. This weight. Looks like the connector got pulled up at some point over top of the weight, which is fun. Come on, come on. This 
side of that rope. So we're going to want to move it. Sorry for all the circles. We're going to want to move it over here. Yeah, all right. Can we sit here and still get it that far across the blue line with the manip? Or do we need to come around the blue line from the other side? Um, we could just kind of nudge the blue line over. We could come back around where uh, all the way around the other side of the camera would probably be better. And then we could watch the hat fall off. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Uh, okay. All the way to your right. Yeah. We've landed there once or twice. <laughs> uh, the question is if you want to get the hat and bring it back. I mean, if it falls, then we got to go fetch it. So it's pretty precarious. I don't think it, it can fall very far. I think it's going to swing towards you. Okay. Like that line's taut. Where is it going to go? Roger. Just don't, can we not land on this? Be careful around, um, sorry. Yeah, the two burn bush there. The two burn bush that the camera's pointing at. We uh, do not want to disturb that. Okay, then I. We have landed there before, though. I should come back around the other way, then. Well, we've landed on top of that rock. I'd rather not. You weren't here when we were getting western with the. If there's not enough room between the camera and that rock, then let's approach from a different heading. Yeah, we can come back around. Pull sorry. it towards us. No, it's all right. I was thinking we'd be... I thought we landed in there somewhere before, but we we're dangerously close to the camera, probably. We can go back over to where we, when we plug the connector in. Yeah, that one works. Or that heading there, that's fine. Or this one, yeah. Yeah, when you move, uh, when you move the weights, the blue line may shift left, anyways, because the whole yeah. mooring will shift left. Yeah, I'm not bothered about the blue line anywhere you can perch. Yeah, it's close enough. Right or left of it? Oh, oh, you're gonna go right for it. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> you might have to go right for me to reach it. You will. Good. Snuggle up next to the camera, parallel with oh. the right. Watch out for your yo-yo. My yo-yo. There should, should maybe reach, hopefully reach. Is the porch still all the way out? No, it's in. Okay. It come forward a little more, right up next to the grate. Uh, Dan, your arm is hitting the camera. Roger. Thank, thank you, Danny. Good thing we have Danny's cam. Okay, it's tucked in now. Sorry. Leave it in where I can see the jaw, then I know where it is. Bounce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can come down a little if you think you need it. would probably help. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> why I'm bouncing around. <laughs> yes, that's why you're bouncing around, sorry. Uh, your tub is straight up in the air. <laughs> well, we know where it is. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I think you're good to lift the weights up and over this uh, connector. I don't think that's going to mess up our line twist or anything. Up and over, yeah. I'm yeah. just going to scooch them, but I don't uh, know if I can reach. See how far I can reach. Can reach to there. Yeah, I think that would work. 
Okay. Open over the connector, but the connector is going to come up when I lift the weights, is it not? Um, maybe it might. I guess yeah. Everything's going to ride up, isn't it? I reckon. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. We can deal with it. No, oh, that's working out pretty well. Up and over. Up and over it is. Moving my balloons. <laughs> As far as you can. I could probably get them off of the grate there if you wanted. Like yeah. Right there. Yeah. It sits, sits great right there. We can <laughs> tip them over. It sits great. <laughs> you want to tip them over or are you happy with them there? Um, over's good. If you can tip them so they're flat, then should be more stable. Won't yeah. wander. But it's uh it's fine if you can't. Not down the hill. <laughs> mm, oh man, this thing is there. so close to <laughs> neutrally point. For that yo yo. They can't roll down the hill, they gotta what do you call that thing when you don't pay your parking fine? They come put a chain. A boot. A, a boot. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So is this the final position? Should I get a coordinate for that? I mean I think any coordinate you take around Back here up is a gonna be so make sure you don't get that pretty, si enough. pretty similar. Uh, yeah, we're not moving it beyond that two hat's foot circle. That's still there. Alright. It didn't do anything because it's wrapped around the connector cable. Maybe it did something. I don't know. It's got a nice wrap there. All right, Nav, could you pull up a coordinate yeah, as best you can? I hear you. This one precarious. <laughs> <laughs> what a deployment. They get any RAS data yet? No. No. I never get it right away. Ooh, coming up. I can go back down. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have gone up and over. What's that? We probably shouldn't have gone up and over. Because uh, then the connector would just be clear on one side. Yeah, which way are we around there? Counter. Yeah. Like we put it around one extra time. Yep. That's securing the The connector. blue cable is still doing its job. Yeah. Uh, the amp steel. So I think it's okay. If we nudge the connector over, then it might help everything shift. Connector's kind of got to go around the it's back. It's got to go around the back, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll just keep them together. A few. If you come park in the Thank same you, place you were, I could pick up the connector and put it no up problem. off the grate, and that'll unwind it a little. Yeah, a little, like a half turn. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. You don't have to bump right into the M steel there. And hope it doesn't get caught on the sonar. Watch your arm, Dan. Roger. Thank you. Happy. 
gonna say, wouldn't it be easier just with the amount of slack we have on that orange cable to just go put the parking position back in its happy spot? <laughs> well, we discussed that while it was on the beach. It's like, why do we even nope. use the parking because position? That's a lot of tension on that Valmont cab uh, cable. Swing and a miss. <coughs> yeah, it, you could almost have the connector on the instrument itself. Yeah, and as we have enough of uh, slack in the oily cable, I don't know if it'll pull it down now. Whoever comes back to retrieve this instrument is really going to love you. Now hook it on that T handle. I'm trying to kind of hook it on the other one, I guess. As far as I can get it, I'm going to push it up here. It's just going to hit that handle. It's just going to hit this. Huh. Oh, yeah. But that's fine. That's right. good where it is. Extra stability provided by the grate. It's great stability. Which is also provided by this wonderful weight plate. Um, we can go try to adjust that hat. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like it at the jaunty, almost falling off angle. <laughs> jaunty hat. Kind of like a Sunday hat. We're going to have to do some work in and around the hat. So we want to be, I guess, mindful of having a place to perch available to us. Because yeah. we're going to want to temp probe through that hole in the hat. Yeah. The hole, and well, then we're going to want to gas tight through it. Yeah. Be warned. <laughs> that perch you had before, I think you were actually sitting on this lump here to your left. I was. Yeah, that's a good landing spot. There's uh, right on top of a vent. <laughs> huh? Can't be that hot. Vent. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll put a ski on it, that'd be fine. I think we talked about using that, putting a hat on top of that vent. I did. You'll be fine. But I don't know if your bumper's going to get into the cable there. It's hitting it. I think that water temperature is pretty there. warm. Right That's here? good there. Yeah. Not on anything. <laughs> Cable. No, oh, come out, come out. Easy, easy. I have to come around where you were before. <coughs> Touching the cable with our bumper. So I thought we wanted it on the point of that flange pole. I don't know. I, you guys were doing all that poking. Yeah, we were doing the poking, and we got the most heat out of that spot on the edge, just about uh -huh. a meter past where it is right now. That's where Derek seemed the most uh, happy. Well, at least now you can grab the side handle.
I'll be there. Roger. I'll be there for a while, you all right? Yep. Okay. It doesn't grab too well by the side, I don't know, because it's so heavy. So, where do you want to reposition the thing? Just further back, so still to the right of this white, but if we could just keep it on the shelf a little better. Yeah, to the right and back. That's good. The uh, twist in the cable wants to pull it up, I think. Or not. I'll have to manipulate it of hitting it. And like Flynn, temp right. probe? Yeah, temp probe. Oh, yes, good. exactly. <clears throat> uh, rack back. You're going to have to rack back for me. Roger, racking back for you. Actually, no, I got, I got it, I got it, I got it. I thought I was lateraling, but I'm not. Yes, I, yeah, I understand that, but he's saying. I see four point Sorry, five I, degrees. I came back out. Oh, out. I was yeah. touching the cable with the uh, probe. We'll just let it sit inside the hat for a second. Five point three climbing. The temperature typically builds inside the hat since we're yeah. sort of throttling its flow. Ten degrees they want, if I remember right, some yeah in that neighborhood. Something in that neighborhood. I think yeah, it's hotter when we leave it, but. Seems to have settled out, 7.2. Yeah.
Yeah, it's climbing slowly, 7.3. 7.4, just checking in with the scientist. Slowly climbing as it fills up. Yeah, 7.6. Sean, are you recording the temperatures? Okay. But, I mean, I'll try my best if you read them out. Yeah, I'll just record the peak here and you can enter it after. I think we hit the peak. It's coming back down a bit. Yeah, I agree. 7.6 is what I have as a recorded peak. Um... Yeah, okay, let's stow the temp probe right and there. get the gas type. We're going for, we have a particular gas type for this one, gas type Ooh. 20. I just got 7.7 .7 and climbing. Oh, yeah. The, mani the vehicle moved a hair. Yeah, I wonder if you're touching the rock or something. Yeah, we're up at 8 now. Yeah, it's still All right, climbing. let's give it a sec here. Point five. Yeah, we just bobbed up just a, I'm going to come down just a bit. 8.7. Hopefully that won't kill you. 8.9. 9 degrees. It's going to be 10 on the money. Yeah. 9.5. It's going to blow right through 10. Yeah, I was touching the rock there. Now it's floating. You can see it moving around. Yeah, 9.95, 10, <coughs> 10.5. I think I'm in there too far. I can back out a little. I think it's okay. Yeah, okay. We're good to gas tight. Roger. That was 10.5 max? Uh, 12. 12? Okay. Yeah. It's kind of 12, I think, touching the rock. 7.6 not touching the rock. Okay. Rocking back. Depending on how right. close we are to the vent hole, the temperature will be a gradient. So it's the red and or it's the orange and white handle. Can you uh, look left and down and show me the paddle? So what does the hat part of this instrument do? So that's this that's like the sort of the inlet to the sampler. So that's where um, it's actually going to be sampling the vent plume or the, Sorry, the which water one, from. Which one did he say? The one on the right. Yeah, orange I said and white. orange and white, but I'm double checking. I'm going to get that stupid thing off of there first. Oh, 
Alright, till train. Okay. Only stupid because it has a big rope to tangle it up. Yeah, confirmed. Orange and white. Roger. I missed on the. Uh, these went down in the tool basket yeah, days, and, days and days ago. I know, and I missed it. I meant to go look, and I didn't. I was going to meant to yeah. mention to take these little ropes you off. Got out, you got that off pretty easy. But they're kind of they're kind of entertaining to get off of there. They, they don't seem to have slowed you down too much. No. Now these I can guarantee sink because I <laughs> taped the bolt on myself. Are you? Uh, you you're. Basket all or you're all the way in there, are you? Yeah. Hmm. When you don't want to take them off, they fall off. When you want to pull them off. <laughs> okay, now you can open a little. Hopefully, it'll fall back in. Yeah, that's good. Bombs away. No PLA doesn't blow. Yeah, we tested that with the uh, Niskin balls too. 